People across the country coming together to honor thousands of lives lost during the September 11th terrorist attacks. And tonight, dozens gathered in Trustville to remember and celebrate the life of the only Central Alabama man killed that day. Major Dwayne Williams was working at the Pentagon when hijacked American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into it. Today, on the 23rd anniversary of the attacks, his loved ones are working to build a permanent memorial for him to serve as a reminder of his sacrifice and that of thousands of others. September 11, 2001, Army Major Dwayne Williams from Jacksonville was on assignment in our nation's capital at the Pentagon. You think the safest place to work in the world then not a level cap. Williams was one of the 184 people who died at the Pentagon that day when a hijacked plane crashed into it and part of the 2,977 people in total who died from all of the attacks. For Williams' family back here in Trussville, 9-11-2024 is a day his brother Roy Williams says they're taking back with joy for the first time. Every year I dreaded this day. But for the first time in 23 years, I'm at peace because we're celebrating how Dwayne lived instead of how he died. Rather than a somber memorial, a benefit music performance at the Trustville Entertainment District is how Roy Williams is honoring this day and his brother's memory. Roy's wife Patricia says it signals a turning point in her husband's grieving process over the loss of his brother. He internalized a lot of stuff early on, so I think this is a good time to help him prog process, that grief process. And part of Roy's grief process is the work he's doing now to memorialize his brother and make sure his sacrifice is never forgotten in central Alabama. All of the money raised at this concert will go towards a $12,000 bronze bust of Major Dwayne Williams that, when it's finished, will be placed at the Alabama Fallen Warrior Monument. A reminder this family knows well that this freedom is never free. The freedoms that so many of us enjoy and take for granted were bought with a price. In my case, by the blood, sweat, and tears of my brother, our Major Dwayne Williams. A sacrifice we can all honor and never forget. My hope is that today on 9-11, people will put aside their political differences, their racial differences, and unite under the colors of red, white, and blue, just like we did on September 11. Any additional funds raised today will go towards a scholarship program in Major Williams' name for ROTC students at Jacksonville State University. WVTM 13 Sherry Falk also had the honor of emceeing tonight's event. Donations are still being taken right now. If you'd like to contribute, you can find a QR code on our website.